while it's not the first time we've claimed the honour, in fact it's never left our shores and was once held by New South Wales. It's a case of classic interstate rivalry. The battle for the longest road train began in 1994 when Burke and New South Wales set the record. It's been broken four times since then, but only by Australians, so it's a classically Australian record. Today, it was Clifton's turn to try and break the world record. To do that, they needed a standard prime mover and 120 trailers measuring more than 1.4 kilometres. Driver John Atkinson wasn't confident early on. I'm going to be honest. 60-40. 60 confident. The record attempt was delayed by an hour, but just after one o'clock, the truck sounded its horn. 10,000 spectators held their breath as the prime mover pulled the road train 100 metres to the finish line. How good's that truck? Pulling 1,474 metres of road train, the record was broken. But it only beat the last record set in Kalgoorlie by 30 metres. The record is very much driven by rivalry. Clifton may have won the latest battle, but not necessarily the war. Western Australia is already promising to try again as soon as possible. It was a bit of luck. We went back in Western Australia and hopefully take it back to a time again. But for tonight at least, the honour belongs to Clifton. Sarah Clark, 7 News.